I put them all into metal cages now. That is a little sunflower right there. That's a bigger one. I I didn't have quite enough tomato cages, so I put that one between two mini trellises to help it stay standing. If I can find some more tomato cages, I'll get them. But uh, I didn't know sunflowers uh, laid down that easily. But this is my first time actually raising sunflowers. And there's a kitty. There's a sweet little one. His name is Buggy. Hi, Buggy. Hi, little Buggy. So cute. And I have some beans growing here. Just started climbing. It's been raining a lot. That one is also between two trellises. And uh, also, there's also a bracing thing there that I got from the bird cage. And that trellis, I mean, that tomato cage has two sunflowers and a cucumber plant. So I'm gonna pull these thistles out. Today is a rainy day. Ouch! <laughs> it's a rainy day so ow it's so hard. He hurt. It's a rainy day so the ground is soft for pulling them out is what I meant to say really hurt so here I have some lemony things growing that make purple flowers I have two of them one here and one here I got those from the Home Depot and they're not blooming anymore maybe I should trim the flowers off they might grow again and there's an, another cluster of sunflowers all in one tomato cage. I should pull that, that weed that's down there. There's a couple of them. When the ground is soft after a rain, it's the best time to pull weeds. All right. I don't know. I think I want to let these bushes grow because they give a kind of red berry and I want the wild birds to have something in the fall. That's what these do, these, there's a few of them here. And since somebody cut all the holly, leaf, holly trees down that were on the other side, I want to keep these and preserve these for the birds to have uh, berries to eat. And that's another reason why I wanted to plant sunflowers is so the birds would have something to eat since the holly trees are gone there was a row of them here like five or six and they were mature too and they had full berries on them and this one I think these two probably I need one more tomato cage Mohammed told me there was only one there I mean only two left I, I wanted one more so I can put one here and put that extra little and take that little um, mini trellis and put it on that sunflower. And th this sunflower, um, there's a beanstalk growing with it. There's two sunflowers and a beanstalk. And I left that mini trellis there because I also put the, um, propped these purple plants up, purple flowering, whatever they are called. They are actually uh, pollinators. Um, they are for feeding pollinators, bees and butterflies. 
so far I haven't really noticed any bees or butterflies here but I propped them up too because the rain was making them lean over into the driveway I'm thinking the rain is what's causing the sunflowers to lean over too that is just beans there was a there was a um, sunflower with those but I think it didn't make it so I went ahead and, and put the beans on in that tomato cage it, this is an old tomato cage as you can tell but um, I had um, it I have it growing here this is um, an Arabic bean this one and that one are Arabic beans and they are black I I hope I, that they do well so I can harvest at least enough to have seeds again next year because it was my first time raising them and I think I should have planted them directly in the ground here instead of raising them in pots first because I'm, t I'm able to see uh, by starting things in, in pots with um, seed starting formula of um, potting soil I, I don't think it transitions well from from that special soil to garden soil. At least they, they didn't for me do it do it way very well this year for me. Um, but I, I want to see if I can just get enough beans to have to try again next year. Um, this one also has a bean, so I have about three. Well, this has two stalks, I believe. That one has more has probably about two stalks as well bean stalks and this one also has one very healthy or two maybe and this is the biggest sunflower of all I think that there was some compost or something here that made this spot especially fertile right here and I'm I'm pouring eggshells and coffee grounds all the way down because this is uh, going to be an expansion of my garden in, in next year and as long as we live here uh, I want this to be part of my garden here so I'm I'm working on this ground and adding uh, compost because that way it'll have more nutrients next year and that, and whenever I, however long I live here or we live here yeah but this sunflower i has a new it at first i wasn't um going to tie this one because it's the the biggest and strongest and thickest but even that one fell over when it rained so i i noticed that it needs some support um because i want them to get really uh, strong and tall so the birds can get them and i don't think the birds will want to come down to the ground where the cats can can bother them so if that gets tall enough, the birds can can reach it without coming too close to the ground. And this tree here, um, it's a mimosa tree. They should, they usually get pink leaves. I mean, pink flowers, and they smell really sweet. I've not seen it blooming, but um, I tied it up because the bottom branch was um, sagging, and it and it, it was. Uh, intertwining with the beans here so I broke off a little piece of a, of a branch and I uh, brought the bean and inside the cage with the with the uh, sunflower so that the bean can maybe climb on the sunflower on the uh, tomato cage and on the sunflower instead of in the tree um, and also I I think that the plants underneath need more light or would appreciate more light um, than if the tree branch is all the way down. I tied it up the best I could. I, I was thinking maybe I should even tie it up more and have it tied up against the fence here or not not all the way against it but up towards the fence and have it pulled more towards the fence because it will be it will grow straighter if I tie it up like that and it leans a lot so I don't really want a leaning tree here I, I don't want to cut it down because those are nice trees and I I have here a mosquito plant also it, it's very healthy 
but it's also leaning over and possibly if I can locate another tomato cage or two I could put that in a cage or maybe on some mini trellises as well I could probably trim the very bottom branch off of this tree also because I really want the, the garden things at the bottom underneath it to, to grow well. <coughs> Hi, little guy. He has uh, wide paws. He's going to be a big boy because he has big paws for his age. Yeah, you got big paws. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have not seen s'mores kittens for a couple of days. I don't know where they are. They used to come ru running right away when I came with food, and I have not seen them, and I'm afraid somebody stole them. Are you okay, little guy? Little buggy? Are you okay? Hmm? Sharpening your claws? Yes. I need to wipe your eyes. Sometimes kittens get boogers in their eyes. And then you have to clean them with uh, something. Black tea, I hear. Plain black tea. Unsweetened black tea is good to clean your eyes with. You're so cute. Are you so cute? Yes. Oh, yeah, here's that stuff. I didn't take it away. I think I'm going to tie one more piece higher up and, and tie it actually to the fence. If I can. If I'm tall enough to reach it. Because I don't want it leaning across the vegetables. So I tied it up midway um, at the halfway point. I might end up tying it again at the top. But I, I got it tied to the fence at the middle point. I don't know if I can reach up there, but I'll try later. I think it's gonna rain again right now.
Come here, baby. Come here, baby.